So, namaskar to all of you and good evening. Uh, today, uh, we have been a guest from United Kingdom. Dr. Joshi Venkatan is a BMS, MD and PhD in Ayurveda. Uh, so many experiences. Uh, he has already worked as a lecturer, assistant professor, dean of postgraduate studies, principal of undergraduate studies, Ayurveda course, uh, so many, uh, he's also mentor in undergraduate and postgraduate Ayurveda courses, Thames Valley University, London, mentor in graduate Ayurveda course, Middlesex University, London, UK, Dean of Postgraduate Studies, Ayurveda course, ALN Rao, Memorial Ayurveda College, OPA, so many fellowships and awards, postdoctoral fellowship from Psycho Hormonal Research Unit, John Hopkins Medical School and University Baltimore. Parliament of United Kingdom, House of Lords, Ayurveda Ratna awardee, as well as professional activities, member of the Pharmacopoeia Committee at the Ayurvedic Medical Association, United Kingdom, member of the editorial board of AIR, MARC, a peer reviewed journal of Ayurveda, and so many publications. Uh, I just uh, I just mentioned a few of them, I'm just mentioning uh, in future of prevention essays in honor of George Albee. And, uh, uh, so many uh, peer-reviewed journals, uh, public publication yet. So uh, welcome, sir, uh, in the platform of Ayush Darpan. Little bit, uh, it, it is one hour late program due to a, already an international webinar on PCOD is on, on this same uh, platform. So I welcome to you in this Ayush Darpan uh, journals platform where approximately the 40,000 active viewers as well as in the YouTube also approximately 10,000 viewers are active viewers are here. So we want to uh, listen from you and regarding your subject that is Ayurveda food as a medicine in United Kingdom. This is the topic. So I welcome to all of you 17 participants joined here in this Zoom as well as I hope that the many of them will join in Facebook as well as YouTube. So thank you, sir, and welcome, sir, to our program. Namaste, namaste to all, and uh, many, many thanks for Dr. Naveen Joshi ji, Ayush Darpan Foundation, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, India, and uh, welcome to you all, and who are seekers of Ayurveda, and as well as learners of Ayurveda, and people who are interested in. Can you all uh, uh, look at the shared slides, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Ayurveda food and food as medicine. And this concept is uh, as old as you can see uh, 400 BC Hippocrates. It's not just only Hippocrates who identified the significance of let thy food be thy medicine. And that is the concept from Ayurveda from the time immemorial. The reasons why Ayurveda standing on three pillars Ahara, Nidra, Brahmacharya. So the four most important food and dietetics have been given in Ayurveda scriptures as a priority, not just only for the health uh, to restore back and promote health, rejuvenate, longevity, but also for correcting the problems which are linked to ill health, under the prevention and also certain level of the curative perspectives, if technically wisely being used, all the medicinal potential substances. We all know, as I presume, being from Ayurveda community, how important uh, to have this concept of food as medicine, food as medicine, uh, to potentiate one's own immune modulation, one's own uh, revival of energies to fight back any kind of uh, diseases and thus uh, obtain the longevity. So we look from food as medicine basis, Ayurveda food as medicine practiced in UK. Why is it in UK? Of course, the food is significant to human life as the Sanskrit scriptures saying about 
आकाशात वायु वायो रग्नि अग्नि आप अभ्या पृथ्वी पृथिव्या ओषधिभ्य ओषधिभ्यो अन्न अन्नापुरष द सीक्वेन्स आफ अन्ना भूता कमिंग फ्रम द भगवदीता एंड अवर ऑल स्क्रिप्चर्स इंडिकेटिंग अबउट ओषधि एंड ओषधिभ्यो अन्न सो द ओष विच इज कमिंग औट फ्रम द नेचर एंड इट इज बीइंग ट्राइबड फॉर द सस्टेनिंग ऑफ द लाइफ फ्रम यूनिसेल्युलर टू द मल्टीसेल्युलर सिस्टमिक ऑर्गन लाइक कॉम्प्लेक्स बॉडीज लाइक ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड द जर्नी फ्रॉम द बॉडी व्हिच विल कंटिन्यू इनटू द सेंसरी फोकस्ड माइंड एंड व्हिच इज बीइंग प्लीज्ड विद द माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट लेवल ऑफ व्हिच इज द सटल लेवल ऑफ एसेंस ऑफ एनर्जीज कमिंग थ्रू फ्रॉम द फूड इंजेक्शन so the food as a main source of entry and we all know which is connected with the entry from the drinking channel as a water and as well as any other uh, fluids and as well as uh, the food to eat by different kinds and then the breathing channel so these are the only the three modulating channels in ayurveda where our system is being uh, recovered recuperated for gaining into the rejuvenation and then set into the auto healing mode and that is the priority it's important why food is important for the health and restoration and then well being in continuation so the in uk as when i entered uh, two decades ago and there is nothing you can practice because of the laws and because of regulations and because of non awareness about the ayurveda and everybody has to expose to the right kind of the food then i have to go through with the concepts of the dietitians concept of western nutritional uh, um, uh, advices and then counter them with my logic and arguments to say that how food is significant and important and what does ayurveda say about it so entirely i started making some projects about simple food remedies and then submitted to uh, home office uk and on which uh, the project only i got a highly skilled migrant program in 2001 and that is what the immigration on the basis of the food and food formulations how significant because this food as um, uh, being um, from ayurveda point of view and we know that more than 40% of our uh, healing therapeutic natural sources being used in ayurveda coming from the food sources whether it is a wide varieties of the spices or whether it is uh, wide varieties of the grains and pulses and vegetables fruits and so many things so on the basis of that and uh, what it is available in uk how best they can make aware of their uh, uh, you know benefits for the health was my prime objective to begin as a practitioner rather than a potential ayurvedic medicinal preparations right away to use was not uh, applicable and that is the reason why still today i give as an adjuvant basis of advices for the middle sex hospital and as well as uh, the um, consultants who refer the chronic patients and what kind of food and diet and regimen will you offer under the social prescriptions the social prescription is now setting on onto an adjuvant basis of advices not only the yoga and well being and uh, breathing exercises but food is also as a part slowly entering into the national health service scheme and people are looking for because we are fighting at the moment in uk in uh, under the all parliamentary party group where i belong to the regulations coming up with the brexit in uk all the laws and regulations of, about the food and the branding the gmo genetically modified organism and which will be very difficult for people who are vegans vegetarians and who like ayurveda diets or who would like natural ways of healing uh, uh, you know uh, food medicines or food as a medicines or natural sources uh, and then it's being uh, dumped by uh, american uh, uh, you know market because it's a flooding of the food and the beverages coming into the uk market with this brexit so financial aspect of uh, growth is one way and ayurveda and food and recommendations are based on the foremost um, um, what is that uh, dharma which is the pursuits of the human being so we have to follow the dharma 
before obtain the artha and that is vice versa uh, it is a conflict nowadays going on with the concept of the food as medicine and even though it is as old as um, well known to the hippocrates to the our ancient historical times so we look from the food as a medicine and significance in uk and also the europe entire europe my colleague who is dr suresh is also over here and who is actively involved with the european ayurveda academy and i'm working with uh, in uk and europe as well teaching and educating bringing awareness and um, he is uh, he is with lots of patients being put up and diet is an important aspect of uh, prescription from our side so ayurveda medicine and uk laws and regulations uh, including european union ayurveda food and supplements as available in uk markets and supermarkets asian groceries health food stores and naturally which are being grown and cultivated naturally being found and also the concepts about the food into the superfood supplements as a fascinating uh, subject and being sold and being consumed in uk uh, from ayurveda point of view uh, available over the counter as a products and as well as uh, ayurveda food prescriptions on the basis of scriptures in our practices because we have uh, a number of students uh, i started teaching from 2001 in thames valley university and as well as extended our programs bsc msc masters and degree programs into middlesex university and after that complementary medicine and health system is completely being removed from the university under the pressures we know it is obvious the reasons why ayurveda not only ayurveda the chinese herb, chinese medicinal system the traditional chinese herbalism or western herbalism or acupuncture and uh, also some western herbalism to because it is uk which is having a herbalist uh, by law and they are able to practice under the constitutional um, uh, basis because we are <coughs> recognized as a herbalist rather than a ayurveda practitioners in uk so ayurveda food prescriptions that is how we have to find out through the scriptures and reach out into the public bringing awareness and also bringing uh, restoration of homeostasis by prescriptions ayurveda food and supplements for health and support including revitalization to the fertility childhood rasayana rejuvenation that's all in continuation different organizations we have like a um child birth uh, gentle birth method.com gentle birth method.com where i am supporting as a consultant for that organization mother and child welfare is much being uh, in demand in uk and all over the uh, europe uh, the patients coming from different countries so they were all seeking for this uh, ancient ayurvedic methods of uh, food for healing to the food for baby food for maternity to food for post lactation and so many things connected with the mother and child welfare and that is also there ayurveda food food as medicine recommendations based on that's an experience i talked about uh, with an advent of uh, uh, with the existing protocol whatever the national health system is prescribing and taking health care and slowly we are creeping into the consciousness of the people evidence for ayurveda food and supplements under trade for centuries and over because we can see with the biggest organizations in uk british library to the welcome trust and as well as so many british museum and then the museums which are there in the european union from the italy rome and as well as in uh, different places in neanderthal in the croatia so wherever we go and we see in the museums the ancient uh, a trade of the spices time immemorial when there is just only overseas or by shipping and there are all the ayurvedic herbs and spices being traded uh, from uh, even the centuries like uh, one or two century ad from that point onwards so the significance of the food and spice and and their uses coming from tropical countries asian countries india and that is all there with this summary of presentation from the indian point of view i would say because even in india the richest country with ayurveda which is native for us and which is a mother science for us and still we are very much back lacking having this uh, having this um, awareness the reasons why because we are being completely under the influence of this victorian era and we forget our roots and many people 
and now we can see urbanizations in india they are all coming with the fast food centers to the completely fascinating western food and then we forgot our roots of traditions culture family practices health and well being everything is being lost and that is a, a, a biggest uh, uh, lacuna even the poorest developing countries having rich traditions and we are unable to follow for many other reasons as well and you can see the people with lots of greediness because that's the artha without dharma into the practices coming from the adulterations commercializations and as well as this is the problem that we do not really have uh, the sense and common sense to follow a simple food remedies what ayurveda prescribe and people wouldn't believe and people wouldn't follow and there are so many instances to explain and when i come to india that's what i do coming from a uh, rural areas like in mahabubnagar district and all the people when they are children malnourished and in walking on mandukaparni in the rice fields and paddy fields richly abundant available and if you advise them and tell the benefits of it how to use it and people just ignore you so this is what a, a lack of awareness being in the developing countries and also when compared to the developed countries like uk and they have their own problems because they do not have that awareness those though there is an awareness about vegetarianism though there is an awareness about veganism and uh, as well as the natural supplements or organic food supplements and so much of awareness is coming on coming on but still it requires a lot because there is a other kind of uh, beliefs into the practices of their food for their uh, um, purposes is not being uh, properly cared so that is what we are trying to educate people under the food as medicine basis ayurveda medicine of course it is in the west uh, which is uh, under coming under the complementary and alternative systems of health complementary health systems traditional uh, health systems under the herbalist groups because it is uh, a constitutional by law under the parliament of uk uh, the herbalist uh, has a right to, to practice and that is where we are identified ourselves to go into the stream of uh, market and um, bringing awareness and practice and it is uh, of course it's a unregulated medicine that is what unlicensed herbal products and we can say that ayurveda medicine you cannot say but you can say that ayurveda supplements food supplements or ayurveda health supplements or unlicensed herbal products and that is the way the name for trading into the uk and that is uh, very popular under the natural food supplements by the law of european union and as well as the little laws the laws are aware about uh, only the uh, uh, the quality control quality enhancement and the food and health and for, uh, health and food and safety regulations and uh, uh, these are only things as a testing means otherwise they are all allowed under the unlicensed herbal products most of our herbs are being allowed unless they are being cited as endangered species in india and uh, not able to export like kusta sasuria lapa we cannot export or uh, acorus calamus like um, of course it's not a food supplement but many of the substances uh, which are uh, being banned um, uh, from for the trade ayurveda medicine is well accepted as a kitchen remedies social prescriptions natural products and health and awareness and that's uh, uh, health promotion uh, as in much demand of course the laws and regulations under medicines and healthcare regulatory agency and food standards agencies in uk and europe also the national national health system guidelines uh, for acceptance of what is food and what is medicine that's all just a gray area of course we know as an ayurvedist uh, the the significance difference as um, rasa pradhanyam ahara dravyam and virya pradhanyam aushadha dravyam so if you start potentiating the substance from rasa into the virya and that becomes as a food as a medicine so it is uh, the identity Uh, for the acceptance into anybody's uh, uh, physiology as an assimilation starting with the taste and taste tolerances and we all know as a means of satmya will be building up and then only it is going into a medicinal potential form of efficacy in long run as a course of rejuvenation rasayana and promote health and well being so under these laws and we are trading or bringing or um, uh, exp- uh, under the importing licenses from european union and uh, as no health certificates uh, required for importing herbal products and health food supplements 
However, Eucalyptus defines, of course, restrict the herbs and spices which are endangered species, or there is a CITES, current, uh, current index of uh, trading uh, species is available from Kew Gardens. And also there are so many remedies which are uh, remedial natural substances within the guidelines as dietary supplements are being uh, full um, licensed for selling into different local markets. So we are looking from the markets as a Western markets, as a supermarkets, and the Asian predominating markets, which comes from the Indian, Sri Lankan, uh, and as well as the communities like Punjab and Gujarat and uh, Bengali and Southern Indian. And that is what the dominating markets, what we can see through uh, with their cultural, traditional demands, the traders will bring. And that is the way we source out these natural supplements and to mix out and to prescribe for the needy patients. Uh, though the, yes. So <clears throat> conventional guidelines for what is uh, spice and what is herb. And that is what the interchanging opinions, which comes of, of course, we know that what it is important from Ayurveda point of view uh, to bring that potentiation uh, added as a herbal uh, uh, medicine, but we cannot say medicine. It's a health food supplement or food as a medicine. And that is what the priority to prescribe many, many herbs which are available as a raw materials in UK uh, when compared to two decades ago. And now it is much, much grown and bringing growing awareness. And it will be in future only the Ayurveda as a system of health will be slowly recognized to bring health and as well as the prevention to health promotion. That's going to be the future medicine. So we have to start and step one through from the food as medicine source to build up that concept and build into the full potential health under national health service. And uh, food as supplements and which are available as unlicensed herbal products marketing in UK and Europe. Uh, however, uh, the quality and safety protocols I mentioned about and then the, under the European laws and UK laws, and the health products agency uh, for the microbiological contaminants and things to certify. Uh, and then the herbal medicine guidelines, NHS I mentioned, and European Union. And these are the few of the things, organic import teams and several other bodies which are regulating agencies uh, allow you as a herbalist, as an Ayurveda practitioner, as a social prescription to the self prepared and uh, dispensing you are allowed to make whatever the extent as long as you have that knowledge about the herbs. So we start more concentrating on the food as medicine as it is available in UK and Europe. So food is ahara. We all know in Sanskrit, I mentioned about the sequence and significance of this ahara, adyanta aharyam. And that is what the first fascinating subject now uh, is coming into the gut and brain axis. Gut brain axis has a greater significance of building more 60% of immune modulation. And that is slowly the conventional medicine is coming through, understanding the significance. There are so many diseases, even Parkinson's diseases, central nervous system involved, and everything is starting from the gut. So they are trying to find out the dysfunction starting from the gut, how best can we correct the gut functions by prescription of the food as a medicine is significant. So that is what we are trying to do. And the rheumatology department in Middlesex Hospital and you have regular uh, contact with the social prescriptions and we are practicing uh, and uh, Dr. Suresh and myself, Dr. Avatar Singh maybe over here. And he is the one who is also involved for treating chronic cancer patients and with these supplements. Of course, Ayurveda health products and in urgent with the food as a medicine basis. So we are doing that as well. From the beginning of food intakes, we know the significance of Istavarna Rasa Gandho Petam and that is the significance of psychosomatic perspective of uh, taste mediated modulations taking place in Ayurveda. And that is very, very important to build up that satnya. So we understand uh, the children and who are uh, exposed to more stereotypic foods and the foods which are being prepared in the schools. And then we go uh, to the primary schools and have a session about talking about the food and interest. And uh, by taking that uh, questionnaires, and as well as bringing awareness about otherwise they just have the old methods of like steaming and cooking and boiling and just filtering all essentials are being gone everything is just mashed potatoes iced sugar and all about the wheat and um, or, or the semolina based wheat based or my maida you can see that is kind of uh, the preparations they don't really have any sense of how to eat and that's the reason why in london if you see 
every corner has put up with a indian curry shops so indian curry shops are worldwide they are popular and famous the reason why because they don't know the art of significance of using traditional richness of cultural diversity of the spices and food and health and well being so this is what we are trying to educate uh, at large uh, into the into the social society under the social prescriptions of course sharira indriya bala varna tej pushti teja satmya uh, and that's all there uh, as a subtle aspect of food journey from the essence of the food reaching into the senses and nourishing and the pleasing qualities uh, as subjectively from ayurveda point of view to assess and that is what we do and uh, as a routine testing for the children to um, uh, many health conditions uh, where the food uh, manifestations and uh, the signs and symptoms are being assessed and um, of course we know a different type of the food substances bhaksham bhojyam lehyam chosyam peyam vodana uh, bhakta anna vyanjana chosh everything has a significant role to understand how pleasing those uh, qualities are being prepared when we make according to the scriptures from sharangadhar samhita according to the scriptures from astanga hrudaya sutra sthana according to the scriptures from kshema kutuhala according to the scriptures from uh, from the um, pediatric book um, uh, in ayurveda um, kashapa samhita and the different uh, kalpas which are being mentioned there and they are the references we take and then try to analyze what sort of preparations can be suitable for the patients and who are suffering as an adjuvant protocol as a food and diet regimen and being prescribed on the basis of these vidhi vishesha ayatanas as the course of the food turns into rejuvenating or healing as the response continues so that is a vast subject we all know already being ayurveda uh practitioners and learners and then we have to understand the significance of each aspect of food and dietetics because there is a huge amount of information how to eat the food how to prepare it how to serve it to the how to so the methodologies are so much to add up into the quality of that gut and brain axis and that is what the sensory means of modulations of food and food based uh, food based is satisfaction or the assimilation and that's what we call it as the biggest word satmya so voka satmya ekara sabhyaso dulbara karanam sarva sabhyaso bala karanam and that is what we all know that how the rasa uh, we have to build up and that rasa potentiates in constant use into the food as medicine as a turning into the medicine uh, from these uh, words and of course these references which will give you uh, the examinations rugu pachamnam ಸ್ವರ ವರ್ಣ ಯೋಗ ಶರೀರ ಉಪಚಯ ಬಲ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅವ್ಯವಹಾರ್ಯ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅವ್ಯವಹರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ಪಾಚಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರುಚಿರ್ ಆಹಾರ ಕಾಲೆ ಅವ್ಯವಹೃತ ಆಹಾರ ಕಾಲೆ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಜರಣ ಕಾಲೆ ನಿದ್ರ ಅಲಾಭೆ ಯಾ ಕಾಲಂ ಸೊ ನಿದ್ರ ಲಾಭ ಲಾಭ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಹಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ನಿದ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎ ಡೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ and so many references we can find out from the scriptures in charaka vimanasthana vaikaranam cha swapnam adarshanam cha sukena cha pratibodhanam vata mutra purisha retasaha mukti hi samo moksha all these assessments sarvakaram sarvakarair mano buddhi indriya artanam cha avyapatti riti hi so the complications will not develop into the manas buddhi indriya and uh, for all means of the physiological process in continuation when we start to assess the people with the exposure to certain kind of food as medicine based preparations anyway food has consumed for the purpose of health in uk uh, which is a lot of uh, theories about uh, western have western uh, uh, nutritional uh, practices and then there is always a conflict going on we try to educate how important when they consider that uh, detox diets and super foods and formula diets or the diets for the figure and of the celebrity diets and we all know so much is in prevalence and they are all the people are getting trapped into these kind of trade tricks so you can see like a muscle building protein foods where people can just uh, exercise and use those supplements and think that instantaneously growing the tissues and muscle build muscle and strength and they are lacking the concept of that race rasa and satmya 
and that is the reason why they are coming up with a lot of dysfunctions and somebody in all over europe you can see like raw foods eaters and as well as like a juice making juices and cold foods and uh, uh, and though they are having all quality natural food sources from organic basis but the art of combining art of making into a compatibility art of building synergy that is lacking this is what the indian culture indian tradition indian cooking indian recipes spices and their combinations as old as into the samhitas astanga hrudaya sutrasthana so many prescriptions are there in kashyap samhita i mentioned also in uh, sharangdar samhita and of course charaka and sushita also put as medicine based recipes are available so the uh, that is what we are trying to see how people are getting bulimia and they, you wouldn't believe after eating they just tick and vomit out and they just have the uh, formula diets and they are very lean and the completely irreversible form of health disasters from the celebrities and you might have heard their experiences to say that you don't know what to eat because the gut is not accepting anything so now that miserable condition who are responsible for this being a rich country having all the rich quality food coming from all over the world and in london you can see number one quality from all over the world is being traded but still people do not have sense of this awareness about the homeostasis about the compatibility about the synergy about the food incompatibilities and this is what we are trying to educate make into a food as a medicine because they just run out of their times with these formula diets and super foods and supplements and like moringa supplement as a super food being consumed where it is moringa leaves and moringa fruits are freshly available in the market so there are so many things people are aware by a different way of approaching as taking garlic supplements garlic pills and deodorant or denatured garlic and uh, while the garlic and ginger and so many things can naturally be used in the food so the preparations is is lacking and people want uh, instantaneous foods instantaneously cooked the supermarket foods and they just open and they don't have to just put it in the microwave and eat and thus they are losing all the values of the rasa ista varna gandha satmya uh, everything is being missing so we have to seriously think about the concept of the people who are under that uh, false impressions about the uh, energy foods uh, including the celebrities what we get uh, in our practice and these problems uh, in the west with this kind of uh, you can see like bulimia a lot of patients i mentioned about digestive upsets coming out with irritable bowel syndrome chronic fatigue syndrome gut brain dealings and digestive upsets continuously and then uh, 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 the the other psychosomatic perspective diseases being set up when the satisfaction for the body is not there and consider for such kind of health uh, under prescriptions food prescriptions does not restrict much by law and that is a a uh, main approach worldwide and if you say that food and food as a medicine and food is being prescribed at food uh, and then the lifestyle advisors and uh, uh, diet and lifestyle advisors and that's what we are making our students into their practices after two years at four years of in completion of the diploma post graduate diploma and the quality assurances and hygiene meet standards and being well trained and well practiced or well uh, uh, practical education is being given under the regular uh, regular uh, workshops in all over the europe uh, we are doing and in austria in germany in netherlands and uh, as well as uh, france and then the croatia and uh, we all know and the european ayurveda academy from dr suresh i am working with him and uh, then the food uh, more than a quarter of the formulations of, we know that how important as a supplement which comes as a spices a natural day to day based of the used substances so which will be bringing out the link of ayush kamiyam or um, dirgam jeevitiyam which is an ultimate goal starting from the ahara and food and dietetics have a three major divisions you all know as an ayurveda professional to see the health for restoration and the health promotion as a natural food supplements which are universally prescribed to all constitutional basis or the people in general with the health and as well as illness so in health and illness they go as a sarva rasa abhyasakara satmya lagu patya aharas so all the things are being mentioned starting from the shali dhanya red rice and mung beans 
and then the uh, Himalayan pink salt to the cow's ghee and then the honey uh, to the uh, so many um, natural substances which comes as a old jaggery, the kittel or the pipali and, and as well as um, 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 uh, the, 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 the quality foods as a number one quality foods uh, which are very light and easy to prepare and, uh, uh, and then um, uh, which builds up the harmony in all the um, health states as the preparations from the mandapi or vilepi uh, those kind of preparations from the Sharangadar Samhita. And that is what the individually tailored that will come as a dosha kinchit uh, dhatu pradushanam, kinchit, uh, kinchit dhatu pradushanam, kinchit dosha prashamanam, swastavrita matam kinchit. Swastavrita mata substances and doshakara substances individually tailored looking for the conditions and then the substances which are incompatible by means of 18 plus and to educate them that how, because they can see in the markets, the banana milkshakes, and it is very popular, mango milkshakes, it is very much popular everywhere. And you can see lots of fruits are being uh, mixed up in the supermarkets with yogurt based, dairy based. And then already this A1 milk, and which is incompatible dairy protein allergies, and a lot of allergies, nut allergies to the food allergies, and the sesame and the dairy and so many allergies are there and that is what building up because of asatmya uh, of the incompatible food sources so you will wonder to see so many crazy combinations even for the pediatric uses for the children from zero to one year of age group and the meat and the fruit combinations meat juices and the vegetable combinations they are such a crazy preparations in the pharmacies are being sold as an instantaneous baby foods and the babies really lost the importance and significance of the taste and smell and likes and dislikes. And that is what they exposed to the rubbish end of the foods. And it is what our main area to educate for the mother and child welfare, starting from this building up of the taste in the uh, food substances with simple preparations. There are so many, um, uh, so many um, millet preparations and as well as to the um, uh, monocotyledons, dicotyledons combinations and which are being combined uh, for the building up of natural available protein sources, amaranth based preparations which are there and for the children to make it into a food formulas rather than using the ready-made instant uh, uh, marketing sources. So that's the reason why we can really have uh, the division of uh, the food and dietetics what uh, Ayurveda prescribes to follow on and uh, prescribe the availability of the supermarkets, Asian markets, and as well as widely cultivated and grown. And that's the way we approach through. Uh, for instance, to explain in supermarkets like Waitrose and Tesco, Asda and Sainsbury, so many other, many kinds of supermarkets, what are the things which are readily available? Like the asparagus as a vegetable, Tridosh Shamana, which is uh, abundantly available. Different uh, types of asparagus is available and they are like white and green and uh, tender. And you can collect uh, even wildly in Spain when we go and do these workshops and people would go and just collect in the morning all these fresh asparagus shoots. And that is what uh, to make the soups and as well as health preparations from the Tridosha Shamana based recommendations for the children and students uh, for the nourishment and values are being explained. And of course, holy basil, different type of basils are available, which are being grown. And of course, if it is, we know that the Krishna Tulasi, Ramakrishna, all these Tulasis, but then there are also some uh, homegrown uh, and as well as in supermarkets, we can find our sources of the basil as well. So different type of basils available, different type of dill vegetable is available as a means of bringing lactation for the mother and uh, as a post lactative, uh, post delivery uh, food preparations for the mother and also the people who are suffering with uh, digestive disorders uh, the preparation from the dill is well known and fennel bulbs and rhubarb and rhubarb is something similarly like the vrukshamla what it is being used how it is being used we recommend on the basis of the sour substances because we know amlam hrudyanam but then the amlam hrudyanam according to our principles then we have to follow the recommendations from astanga hrudaya sutrasthana where the combinations of all the sour substances for example, starting from the rich Indian gooseberries, Amala, and as well as Dadima, 
and as well as um, uh, Garcinia, Rukshamla, and uh, also Rubab, and uh, also Jujifas uh, with the Chinese market and a uh, lot of Jujifas, Jujifas fruits are available. And um, um, other things, pomegranate richly grown in all, all over Europe. So find out the natural sour substances, including the berries and plums, and then uh, milk, mix them with the sour substances with the compatibility of the sweetness. The sweetness which comes out from the toddy-like jaggery or the old jaggery, and we all explain that how jaggery uh, is not a hygroscopic when you exposed to the moisture hour, and then uh, it's a Purana, Purana Gudam, and also Karyota urens is a species from Sri Lanka. Uh, the extract as a jaggery, Kithul, Kithul liquid, Kithul treacle, Kithul uh, uh, candies, which are available, and uh, other sources like maple syrup, agave syrup, and honey, and, um, and also uh, different uh, sweet uh, sources naturally available, date syrup. So we have that sour group and we have that sweet group in between the compatibility to raise from the spice group. So the spice group is starting from the Trikatu to the Chaturjata to Panchakola and all these combinations are being used to make into a synergy, sour, sweet, and then the spice. In between is the three type of salts available Himalayan pink salt, richly available, and as well as two other type of uh, salts coming from the um, um, black salt and as well as um, rock salt, uh, uh, crystal salt, white salt, uh, sour chalavana, and the three varieties are available, if not five varieties. And some shops we can even find Yavakshara, other uh, lavadas naturally available as a Javukara. So consider the groups of salt and alkali based and sour uh, based fruit and vegetable sources and then the sweet sources. And that is what the Astanga Hrudayam Suttasthanam recommendations in different uh, uh, food sections as a combinations. So these are the things we try and uh, educate for the people to make for themselves and they can make as a combinations to use along with the foods what they eat. And that is the best uh, assimilating, digesting and uh, um, gut friendly, uh, restorating microbiome and then the, uh, developing the taste and uh, health and well-being and also healing which is connected with that so in the supermarkets uh, still we can see like faisalis species kakamachi based the bigger variety of course in the kakamachi in all over europe in germany the black variety the red variety uh, the fruits are everywhere available solanum nigrum and then uh, uh, not the solanum dalcomera but the nigrum and uh, we advise them to use along with this um, uh, Himalayan pink salt and then roasted in the ghee and they are all naturally available in the supermarkets of the western origin as well mint based mint based preparations and similarly sesame based uh, tahini kind of preparations are already there or the pestos are already there which is a basic linked preparations of western culture and follow them what they use and then modify accordingly how to use along with the foods is a bigger way of approach building their restoration on the food as a medicine prescriptions starting from the western uh, supermarkets radish varieties many varieties we all know that molaka how important as a tridoshi shamana being murudu and then the different type of pumpkins different uh, uh, varieties of the pumpkins and their seeds richly available and then we all uh, prescribe those kind of things for the kidney ureter bladder health and for detox health and also for Brushya um, and um, uh, bulkness like um, brumhana kind of uh, therapies prepared out of these soup preparations and then the, all the fresh spices and the western herbs also be considered uh, along with the what it is being grown and cultivated like garlic. Garlic is richly available as a natural source, wild garlic, different type of species available and the coastal garlic in entire Europe uh, there's a mono, mono bulb kind of garlics available on the coastal side and in the mountain side, the wild garlic is, species are available. And they already know, they already have the cultural basis of brine preparations in the salt water preparations, preservations, and they use in different ways of their cultures, hot, horse radish and then just the preservations as well. But uh, according to their traditional use, and we add what it is missing. And according to the kalpas of Lashuna Kalpa from Kashapa Samvita, and as well as uh, all these uh, fresh figs, rich figs, fruits, and ginger, everything is being available 
in the supermarkets. And when compared to the Asian markets, coming to the Indian, Sri Lankan origin, or people from Bengali, uh, Gujarati, and uh, uh, and uh, Bengali, Gujarati, and uh, South Indian uh, shops, and they are all very rich with their own uh, um, um, trades. And almost all, almost all sources of natural vegetable to the spices available in the in the stores. So it is a rich diversity to use uh, from the quality of the uh, herbs and spices uh, to combine them under the food supplements. They are all available. So we start using from that point of from, um, fresh amla to the two types of different type of amla coming from even the Mediterranean uh, countries and African countries, and as well as different type of yams. Uh, they are also coming from African countries. So selecting this, we have a wide range of food, spices and vegetables from the traditional um, markets coming from Asian to the African origin. And uh, ash gourd is uh, pumpkin, which is um, kushmanda or medya prabhavaka, and two types of turmeric, uh, karkuma amada, karkuma langa, and where you can prepare like nishamalaki and so many things as a dietary prescriptions, uh, turmeric based uh, preparations into the fresh lime juice as it recommended in some of the scriptures. And we select those combinations to use for the restoration of health. Even the jivanti and its varieties are available. It's not a reptilian reticulata and that species from Maharashtra and there is being like a panchangas or being dried up and available in the, uh, Harrow in London, and uh, we come out for making those kind of food. Jivanti Shakanam Srestam. So Mandukaparani freshly available from Sri Lanka. Every week, twice it will come. And just only the Mandukaparani variations to prepare. According to Sushruta, the kind of Mandukaparani Swarasa added with little licorice, Madhyasti, and re take it regularly with the milk as a rejuvenating practice on empty stomach. Uh, according to the doses and the age and significantly. And then otherwise we have preparations with the red rice, preparations with the moon beans and preparations even like smoothie preparations and where it is applicable, the roughage is being filtered through. So uh, Manduka Parani on its own is giving a lot of significant relief for the people who are suffering with chronic ailments as a detox diet uh, uh, from the honey-based preparations to the uh, yogurt based preparations from the uh, Keralian or Karnataka based cultural traditions are being used as a tambuli preparations from Mandukuparani. So Asian markets and uh, they are full of uh, all available sources. Uh, haven't seen anything which is available in India is available in UK. So wild are native to UK and Europe and most of the observations you can see like a Vedic plant like Vastu Kashakam, Chinopodium alba which is richly available or uh, widely being grown, different species of chinopodium, uh, which are edible spinach and uh, richness for the colon health and gut health and the preparations are being recommended from that. I talked about kakumachi, widely available, black and red variety, um, solanum nigrum, dalcomera, we don't use, it's poisonous, and oxalis carniculata changeri, which is uh, different varieties are available and they make with the dal preparations and soup preparations and um, uh, tasty curry preparations. We all know how compatible these changeri when it comes to the point of smokers or the chronic fatty liver, liver syndrome, fatty liver syndrome, and as well as for um, <clears throat> colon issues and hemorrhoids and varicose veins, so many things. So we, based on that prescriptions to bring awareness to use how best as a nutritional food supplement organic can be found richly cultivate, not cultivated, it's widely available. So different type of pumpkins are cultivated, different type of uh, amaranth plants are being cultivated and uh, which are edible uh, sources. And uh, apart from that, um, other uh, protein diets uh, like uh, chia seeds or um, um, amaranth seeds I mentioned about and then uh, quinoa and different proteinous diets from the Western point of view. But uh, Ayurveda point of view, Shatavari is widely grown. I mentioned about in Spain, there are a huge amount of food. trade is also being there, even from the roots. And I mentioned about mountain garlic and coastal garlic varieties to make into Lashana Kalpa of Kashapa Samhita. There are plenty of preparations, garlic-based preparations for the mother and child welfare. And also the um, 
child health to uh, varied uh, um, adjuvant therapies for uh, chronic uh, suffer uh, sufferings like cancer patients. And um, other uh, naturally things which are available, uh, pomegranates and grapes and figs and uh, bay leaves plant different species. So I might forget to so many things which are available I haven't listed here. But when what I have seen, I've listed what it is available uh, in this uh, uh, belt uh, for UK and Europe. So food as medicine prescriptions are based on Ashtanga Rudha I mentioned, Sharangadar Samhita, Kshema Kutuhala, Kashyap Samhita, and Lashina Kalpas from those as an examples to see. And um, uh, from that point, a uh, few of examples to quote that what we make and um, uh, have the significance of simple preparations, easy to educate for the people, easy for the patients to use and um, uh, bring awareness and as well as help for them to recognize the value of these foods uh, as a madhudakam, of course, because I start prescribing as a simple detox for all ages. We know how significant because the honey by law, by trade in UK, in all of the markets, where in the ph pharmacies, because they have to give an expiry date for this. We know as an Ayurveda professionals, there is no expiry for honey. But then that is what uh, we collect a lot of honeys coming from Portugal honeys. They are slightly bitter honeys. They are wild forest honeys. So organic, cold pressed, wild forest, uh, wild floral, uh, different type of honeys are available. So honestly speaking, and when you see the honey to buy as a pure into this uh, um, a rich country like India and a lot of adulterations we all know but you will get in UK number one quality as it is said if it is cold pressed it is cold pressed it is not pasteurized so we educate for the people how significant not to pasteurize honey and there is no expiry date and they can use it so by law when we talk about these things in the uh, in the parliament and as well as in the meetings with these food and drug trade agency agencies they just don't pay because they just do not have that value and um, understanding about how the ghee, kumbhodakam, kumbhagrutam or the honey being preserved for years together and giving the health benefits. They don't know. So we are trying to educate them. So honey and water as a simple means of prescription for the people irrespective of health and illness as a measurements, for example, to see what is the first day dose, what is the empty stomach based dilutions. What is that uh, initial uh, like 60 to uh, 120 grams as a range of fluctuations to drink and taking not more than half an hour and bringing that signs of uh, nausea, vomiting sensations as a self threshold. How much can you hold the honey water to drink an empty stomach within that stipulated time? So these parameters to assess for them to use like one day, two day, three day, maximum seven day as a madhudakam detox preparations and we explain and then comparatively for the students, whether this bitter honey, this floral honey, real wild forest honey, which country honey, Portugal honey or Croatian honey, then the studies to say that how best did you get detox signs and symptoms. And that is what a annual basis checking for the people not to suffer with the hay fevers and as well as the kapha uh, mediated dysfunctions into the springtime and a lot of honey water detoxes are being prescribed under the food as a medicine based uh, simple procedures uh, for as an initiation. I mentioned about Mandukaparni, the smoothies, juices and the day to day based uh, food preparations with the kitchenies and as well as like the red rice and mung bean based preparations and as a detox diet. And then the, uh, from the Sushruta references, Lavanardraka Bhakshanam, Sada Patyam and we all know based on that, the different type of uh, um, um, ginger. Uh, so cooked ginger and the Himalayan pink salt and raw ginger as a ginger juice. So these are the variations added with honey. So experimenting different combinations for individual based taste and acceptance. And then as a prescription to ignite their agni and then uh, bring uh, uh, as a gut functions restoration. And uh, we can always use these principles. The Shamalaki, we know how significant for metabolic uh, pathways, always 24 by seven whether it is a fresh amla available and even the amalaki powder, amalaki dried fruits, and even the frozen amalaki is also available. So anyway, we always recommend to prepare with the Nisha and uh, Haridra and amalaki preparations. 
as a metabolic boosting starting from diabetic people to many uh, obesity or overweight people and as well as uh, restoring foods by adding for the children as well to have these immune modulations so of course this uh, different citrus fruits we have a bigger citrus fruits like um, citrus medica and uh, all different countries of the uh, lemon to lime variations and then preparing lemon to lime variations in the salt preparations and as well as concentrating them in the turmeric preparations for concentrating them like making like amalaki rasayanam type as amalaki juice is added to the amalaki powder and it's it, uh, triturated or made into a more concentric form so we have variations for citrus fruits with the salt uh, combinations to make into a potentization as a medicine and also with turmeric and then the uh, amalaki rasayan itself so we have options to say uh, uh, with the mentioned about the different old jaggeries or healing potential sugars ultimately we know that the sugars are the healing mode for cellular repairs and how best can we make the sweet as a compatible acceptable source because everybody uh, are um, longing and as well as having the um, desires and as well as like a sweet tooth when there's dysfunctions of the most of the vata and you can see midnight eaters people uh, obsessed for eating chocolates to many things then we can make as a nutritional chocolate based food as a medicine preparations we all know how significantly the gums and different edible gums are available uh, from different gum kino gum karaya gum kathira or african countries arabica arabia arabica gums and all these gums are being trained to uh, roast in the ghee and prepared with the nuts and the uh, nutritional uh, richness of that uh, uh, sweetness brought brought into and that becomes as a uh complement uh, uh, and um, uh, like uh, obsessive eaters of the chocolates so there's are these are the things to say that make as a power balls and say that this is what your chocolate to consume so there are such a kind of alternatives coming from the dry dates and then the um, and different dry fruits uh, as a combinations to make into a, a very tasty preparations of the healing nutritional richness coming from Uh, toddy uh, or like uh, carioto urens i mentioned about the uh, maple syrup i mentioned about agave syrup i mentioned about the date syrup and these are the natural sources other than the sugar so otherwise it's a old jaggery and the brown cane sugar uh, as it is recommended in uh, in the preparations we use apart from any processed food so people are aware about the organic foods and that is what they use and the madhur amla lavana i mentioned that is what ashtanga hrudaya combinations selectively to consume what it is available to prepare and shatapushpa we have uh, even the lucknow variety fennel which is a fine fennel seeds and which is uh, according to kashyap samhita for the post lactating women and as well as during pregnancy and after uh, delivery we concentrate more on this shatapushpa kalpas even for fertility it is much being used so that is the recommendations starting to understand from bigger variety and atom so what is the finiculum vulgar and preparations from lashana i mentioned and also the suranakanda which is tuber available how best for the <coughs> phlebitis to the uh, varicose ulcers to the hemorrhoids to all sorts of liver dysfunctions and that is what the preparations with the takra based preparations uh, the the surana is richly available kushmanda is uh, for the swarasa for medya prabhavas and different combinations for the morning and as a detox diet is being used for uh, uh, for the health of the kidney ureter bladder too uh, for the marmas and uh, for the brain functions or sensory means of growth and development in the children too and then the common prescriptions dadi mastakam hingvastakam and hingu jira kardaka lavana gruta yogam and so many things are there as it is being uh, uh kichdi preparations so the black pepper black pepper ginger uh, cumin asafoetida based preparations into the ghee as a means of uh, restorative health as a uh, convalescent period for the people suffering with chronic ailments as a reco- recuperation from that point so these are all very few things to mention about what we are doing in uk food as medicine and significance as it is available Uh, to modify and uh, what it is just uh, 
as the samples to show in the in the shops like Surana or Kushmanda or like Maschakshi for the um, eye health and as well as like Jivanti based uh, varieties and uh, uh, Leptodinia and as well as uh, Oloptilia, different species and also the Potaki, uh, Poi vegetables and then the Amala and then the Agastya, Sesbania species and um, also the Vastuka naturally grown and different species of Chinopodium alba as a wild spinach in UK and Europe and Vukshamla garcinia species for the weight loss to uh, management of uh, like metabolic disorders to prepare in compound formulations and dry and wet and uh, fresh all three varieties are available and of course uh, lots of preparations from the uh, banana stalks and as well as to the lotus stalks which are available and also these uh, banana flower recipes uh, for all the fertility issues or the female health issues uh, that's what uh, you try tonics prepared out of these natural sources and then the turmeric the two types of turmeric i mentioned curcuma langa and amda both are available and um, also the naturally grown you can see that the grapes everywhere and different type of grapes black grapes and which are very rich for preparations to use uh, and also the jati like jasmine uh, richly widely grown in uk and then the bay leaves varieties I mentioned, which are widely grown, and the lotus plants, which are widely grown. There's, in fact, in Kew Gardens, you can see number of species, 40% of Ayurveda herbs, including Berberis, uh, not the Aristata, Berberis, Berberis um, species, Daru Haridra, Vulgaris species available. And then the Devadaru, Citrus Diodara, which is uh, richly available in the hospital uh, premises in London. Somewhere when I was traveling, you can see that whole area is being scented with these devadar being cut off, but they didn't know how to use them. But that's what bringing awareness about devadaru plants are richly available, widely grown in UK and Europe. And uh, then the beetle leaves, of course, we know how best can we prepare for uh, instantaneous um, uh, cardiac patients from black pepper to the um, um, beetle leaves and as well as to the garlic and um, uh, richness of uh, uh, using uh, ginger and combinations for instantaneous use for cardiac management uh, as a supplements being used or else uh, we make uh, students learn the processing the medicated ghee preparations from the beta leaves to the moringa leaves and as well as uh, different uh, turmerics as uh, curing the ghee's preparations as a training using them so that's what uh, very simple ways of a few examples what I gave here, uh, what we are doing in UK and Europe. Uh, so um, I don't know how much is the time for me being allotted uh, from its already one hour, four minutes. And maybe I would like, I would like to uh, open for a debate and as well as the question and answers. Uh, so uh, I will invite all the uh, participants to actively involve by uh, writing your questions so that I can answer. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. It's a very nice presentation and uh, I hope that uh, everybody has enjoyed this presentation. Wonderful presentation and uh, I hope that if anybody has any questions, they can ask directly uh, uh, with Dr. Joshi. Uh, so I just uh, want any question, uh, 20 participants uh, are here in the Zoom, uh, Zoom and as well as many of the, them are watching at uh, the same in the Facebook as well as uh, the other platform. So if you have any question, you can ask. Any, of the, any question, you can raise your hand regarding uh, Dr. Sonia, yeah. Any question? Dr. Ram, uh, Rishi Ram Koirala sir is also here. So I unmute, uh, he's from Nepal. Uh, so welcome, sir, in this program. <laughs> uh, so, yes, sir, you, you just gave your comments about this program, yeah. Did you, did you, very, I think, I think, Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 years to Europe, Japan settle in Nepal. And exactly how, how I was thinking, 
It has been and this this European country is a very very good. How we have to design people idea, and this is a wonderful because in my center also 122 country people come for punch here for with advanced punch and all these karmas. I will be in. I will ask. To Nabin, I will be in touch when I come to them. I will be invite you beforehand to meet. And whenever you feel a time, you are always welcome to Nepal in the mountain. <laughs> welcome. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you to all friends. Thank you, uh, Dr. Rishi Ram Koyala from Kathmandu, Nepal. And uh, there are a lot of people here, here I am just, which, which is some question Dr. Sonia is asking, which is best food available here for losing weight? <laughs> <laughs> food as a medicine and uh, starting with, <clears throat> see, we have a different source of uh, uh, water because, uh, you know, the spring waters, different countries are being produced. And how best can we modulate this water into a potentizing, say, for example, water on its own, Adamsha, when it is being boiled or being cured with the different uh, uh, spices, uh, uh, with the vetivera, vetivera to all sorts of uh, coleus aromaticus to uh, shadangapaniyam. And then the starting from that point with the musta, uh, parpataka, vushira, chandana, vudicha, na, shunti, and every part is helping for losing weight from the diet point of view, starting from the Preparations, as I mentioned, is the black pepper. So the black pepper is the right key. And how best can it be prepared with the cumin, prepared with the old jaggery, prepared with uh, uh, other spices like the ginger and shunti, and then uh, prepared uh, to reach out into the micro capillaries because that is what the pramati and pramati as a guna uh, with the black pepper, with the, all these qualities will trigger uh, the metabolic pathways of course the exercise and other foods which are coming from millets all the different type of millets are available so people have a uh, different range of the millets being used uh, available and different combinations coming from water chestnut like singada uh, to the um, uh, black chickpea different combinations to say like jowar and bajra and uh, uh, quinoa and couscous or uh, quinoa, uh, and then the uh, this barley the barley is the main important uh, ingredient for bringing the weight loss. Say, for example, the barley, the whole wheat, and as well as all sorts of edible gums. We have a three preparations. The whole wheat, whole barley, and then the uh, there's a different type of gum kino, gum karaya, gum katira, acacia gums, and all these gums. And with the kalaunji, the kalaunji is the seeds, which are only wild onion seeds. And the kalonji is a black seed oil is available, kalonji richly available as a food. So these four combinations and prepared and cooked out into a liquid diet preparations with different water levels and then being strained to drink along with, uh, uh, with these nishamanaka preparations and madhudaka uh, concepts. So every bit of this food as a medicine will help to reduce excess of the burning fats. And we know that horse gram, how significant horse gram is for reducing the weight. So the black pepper, of course, if we are not going to the Vidanga level of the medicinal substance and preparations, but still we have lots of preparations coming from millets to uh, uh, the, um, the horse gram and as well as to the barley. And then the uh, preparations like this as an example with the edible gums, kalonji and the whole wheat and whole uh, uh, barley. And that is what we do. And instantaneously sugar levels are being reduced with one day use of these combinations of whole barley, whole wheat, all edible gums with the kalaunji as a cooked preparation, as a liquid formulation. Yes, please. So varam karchat. we all know that how significant it is. And before it goes into the beyond levels, then the recommendations will help a lot.
is that all right sir any yes please yeah so a lot of uh, uh, we have professor srinivas gujarwar here as well as prof dr brijesh mishra uh, many kuntal uh, raghupati as well as uh, as well as uh, many of uh, many of the well known names are here in this program so if anybody has any comments or any type of uh, queries they can ask in this zoom uh, i just uh, i'm 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 working with dr avtar singh who is here and he yeah. is a, such a fascinating uh, physician i have ever seen using his traditional formulations of richness the patients who are left out by nhs they are suffering with all secondaries in the cancer conditions you talk about uh, the 5% 10% of the kidney uh, on the dialysis even patients from india and he is getting that richness i am working with him i am very proud to say that dr avtar singh is treating chronic ailments cancers and including the covid uh, symptom patients lots of our student children and as well as like uh, hiv patients uh, full blown aids patients and and then the kidney renal failures and liver disorders so he is very popular in all over the uh, european countries to the dubai and a special uh, guest as for honor for uh, different uh, hospitals are being invited i have such a traditional wonderful man uh, i'm working with him he is also here that there is a question how to use kalonji in diet sir uh, yeah the kalonji is richly used even just preparing and roasting them and um, we make into a baking or the food preparations chapati preparations and it's very tasty as it comes this kalonji seeds so kalonji seeds are like a sesame seeds like you know roasted and being used and that's what uh, very richness in the in the health benefits the kalonji will bring so i mentioned that preparation as um, instantaneous reducing the blood sugar anybody can try you have different type of edible gums and then the whole wheat and whole barley and with this kalonji just make it into a very fine uh, uh, liquid uh, uh, essence out of boiling and boiling under low heat and then just strain and drink see how importantly as a hypoglycemic substance it's not just only a food as supplement because it's starting to reboot your system with the metabolic restoration so that is what the kalonji can do it's a very useful substance yes please so thank you sir uh, for your a uh, very nice session and uh, so many people enjoyed uh, actually this program is also live in the facebook as well as the youtube page of dayus darpan journal so uh, i'm so much thankful to for giving you your precious time to this platform and uh, very much clarifying regarding the ayurveda as a, uh, the food as a medicine used in uk so i hope that uh, the students and ayurvedic scholars who have joined in this program they they learn lot of a uh, lot of uh, things uh, regarding the ayurveda food as a medicine thank you sir so uh, we again um, in the next program so uh, namaskar and uh, good night and i hope that there is good morning or uh, time is there different time in uk so thank you sir and thank you dr rishi ram koirala sir for joining with us from nepal as well as srinivas gujarwar ji and many other participants who have joined in this program